You're probably not gonna be able to see in the video, but we've got baby goldfish. This time around, I used the males from the B team and bred them to a goldfish that I'm thinking about naming Komi-san. If you know the anime, yeah, the goldfish is real fragile. I thought she was gonna die. Maybe I'll be lucky and there will be somewhere in one of these babies, there will be a cocktail of genetics that results in a massive hump, like even bigger than the mothers. Some places in Asia don't want the hump to be too extreme, but for my line, I want that hump to be as exaggerated as possible. I'm gonna take my livestock counter and I'm gonna see how much I have to work with. I don't expect that there's gonna be much because it was only one female and most of the eggs were not fertilized. Fortunately, thanks to the methylene blue, the fertilized eggs at least didn't get a fungus. Kukumakranka! I just realized that the sugagasa, well, I'm just gonna call it a sugagasa. I know it's not like a legitimate sugagasa. But like it cuts the glare from the sun, making it easier for me to see the fish. People in the past knew what they were doing? What? I counted about 20, which, eh, uh, not a lot. But also it wasn't a lot of eggs. So, I mean, all things considered, it's not terrible. But we're not gonna count our chickens before they hatch. Most of these babies won't survive. And then zero of them might be of any quality. Yeah, like, I mean, they could all be rubbish. I don't know. I'm gonna have to see how they develop. But now I have to decide which one of these tanks I am going to have to remove the current inhabitants, put them somewhere else, and uh, make space for the current batch of babies. In this tank, I've got hybrids, and I don't want to mix them up with the purebred animals in the JoJo's tank. With these ones, I selected a specific male for a specific female, and they've turned out pretty well. I kind of want to see how they develop further, so I also don't want them getting mixed up with those ones that spawned wild with each other. These ones are part of the same batch. They just grew a bit slower, so I just removed the bigger ones so that it doesn't negatively affect their growth. And here is another batch of hybrids. Hmm, who will I remove? These ones I'm not gonna move at all. They're the rubbish that I'm gonna be selling off eventually. Now, of course, the off-standard goldfish I will not be selling for hundreds of rand. They will be pretty cheap, you know, probably 100, 150 at the most. I also will not give them away. Those days are long over. I am no longer giving fish away. Um, I had to basically learn the hard way, because I'm stupid, that the people who want fish for free aren't gonna turn into customers. Here's the plan. I've decided to take these hybrids and I'm gonna put them in the JoJo's tank. They're fairly unique looking, so I should be able to recognize them with the other babies. I'm just gonna take pictures just in case as well. You know, I just had a crazy thought. Why don't I just put the two groups of hybrids together? Like a smart person. Really glad I thought of that before I moved all these fish to the JoJo's tank. Kusa! I was gonna do a water change on the tank the other fish was in so that I could add cooler water. Turns out the mud pond where I get my water from is pretty hot also. And it just so happens that the baby bucket that's been in my house all day has colder water. So I don't wanna stress the babies. It's not gonna happen today. I'm gonna wait for early tomorrow morning when everything is still nice and cool and then I'm gonna add the babies to their new tank. 